Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for the 24th of December, 2019. It was exactly a year ago that my mom passed away. And I have, uh, since that day when I've been given speeches, trying to explain the difference between depression and sadness, how the two are not related necessarily, and how for me there is a distinction in my mind, like like the two, you know, one is black and one is white. The, the, like, it's so perfectly clear to me that the two are different. And what I say is that, you know, my mom passed away last December the 24th, one year ago today. Uh, that makes me sad, but it does not not make me depressed. And part of that is, well, no, part of that is because depression is an illness. Um, and also she, she was, uh, um, she had suffered from Alzheimer's for a while. And uh, it, it certainly, uh, I, I don't think, I don't think anyone was uh, feeling good about where she was, including her, if she could have thought about it. So I, I wanted to make the point that those that have not experienced depression could make the mistake of thinking, okay, well, you know, you're sad about something and therefore you're depressed about it. And the distinction between the two, I think, is at the heart of the stigma because of the belief that my, my sadness is, is actually what depression is for those that suffer from the illness. And it's, it's so important for us to understand that the two have nothing to do with each other. And I also wanted to say that since I started speaking about mental health 10 years ago, um, one of the best things that I got to do was I got to, uh, I got to give a speech um, with my mom in attendance to a group of orthodontists. My dad was an orthodontist, and um, I don't think she was very aware at the time, but it really made me feel good that uh, I could be up there and that she could see me doing something that I think in a lot of ways my parents were responsible for. Um, the fact that I, I, never, I never saw myself as being weak. I never saw myself as being afraid to talk about my mental illness. And I think my parents shaped me early on with undying love. And I think my wife shaped me as well with unfailing and undying love. And when people believe in you, you tend to believe in yourself. So... Um, a year ago today, uh, it was uh, not the worst day of my life for sure. Um, Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. It's amazing how, uh, how circumstances of somebody's death can change how you relate to it. But also, uh, it's, I think when, when someone is, my mom was 87, when someone makes it to a certain age, you got to celebrate it as opposed to lamenting it. I'm a little sad. I'm not depressed at all. Did you say signalweek.com? I think I did. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Even Sorry, if I didn't. I ruined the blog. No, it's okay, Case. Don't worry. You you did well. <laughs>